Hi, oh my mates, it's me, your captain, it is Rusty. Hey, how's it going? How's it going, friend? I was just, just getting started, and you know what I was going to say? It's a bit of an off day today, and I'm not sure, not sure why. Not sure why. Wow, look at all the, look at all the names there. Yeah, a bit of an off day, I'm not sure why, and I just sort of can't get out of a bit of a funk, so I thought, you know what, let's come and, let's come and brain some zombies, and maybe that'll put us in a, that'll put us in a, a happier place. Perhaps. Um, are you having an off day as well? I'm so sorry to hear that, friend. So sorry to hear that. Um, but hey, we're here together. Let's all suffer and share misery together, shall we? <laughs> um, we're playing Death Road to Canada. We did a bit of this yesterday, and it was all right. Hey, thanks for contributing to the Fighting Fantasy, Olive. I'm going to plug it again. Here it is, Forest of Doom. We'll read this live on stream if we hit that community challenge, and... We'll let the chat choose where we go, where we go to. Um, oh, Papa, Papa's here as well. Thanks for contributing to the Fighting Fantasy read-through challenge, friends. Um, so where we left off, miserable camping. It was raining, but nobody minded it too much. We've got Shaunda. That's who we started with. We've got Jody. Uh, we've got Chaz. And we've got the Bard. We picked up a Bard at the trading post, and he seems an okay chap. Uh, he's got his loot, which seems to be quite effective at killing zombies. I know it is, mate. I know it is, but I, I don't know. It's weird today. Um, I've just felt sad today. I feel I feel quite emotional today, and I don't know why. You know. Um, let's go to the trading camp. Let's see what we've got. We've got thirty-eight food left. Um, who have we got? We've got this gnome, and I don't know what this gnome's all about. So we'll we'll ignore him. The group sees a woman standing near a stockpile of crates. The crates seem to contain a large supply of food and drink. She's got food. No, I ain't gonna give her. Oh, we'll sell her the weed whacker. The weed whacker was shit. You're positive, except when you're not. <laughs> uh, and I love you too. And uh, yeah, I know. I think everybody knows that feeling. We can all relate. We can all relate. Um. Oh, maybe we've got some. Hey, fuck me. Look, we've got robots. A red one. Let's see what the blue one does. What do you say, robot? It's a helpful robot. For its off time, it's programmed with a sales pitch. One beat, two honk, three, I am selling robots, and four up to two robots? We can buy the blue robot for three food, shall we do that? Shall we buy a robot? Throw it on the ground and it will help you until it runs out of batteries. Hey, that's useful. Alright, we've got a blue robot then. And all training you do here will go towards the advancement of science. We can buy a teleporter, fuck me. Okay, I don't know what the teleporter does. So yeah, I thought I'd do I'd do something. Maybe something that'll just I don't know get my head out of something. Um, but I hope aside from feeling a bit grumpy, you're having a fine day. You're having an okay day. Oh, should I give that a go? All right, I'll give it a go, Papa. I'll give it a go. Thanks for lurking, friend, and thanks for contributing to that community challenge. All right, so we've got a science doodad. Is there anything else we can loot in here? No. All right, let's go. Let's be on our way. I think we've got everything we could. You want to not say for work, but you keep wasting your points. Olive, it's not a waste. I'll tell you what, you've contributed uh, You've contributed a lot to the um, to the community challenge, both of them. The one we're doing Thursday and the upcoming. What do you want, Olive? Do you want an animal one, or do you want a foreign language one? You can have a freebie, mate. You can have a freebie. Why not? Just for you, friend. Uh, oh yeah, we haven't got a very fuel efficient car, and I think everyone's like one hit away. You do, you do. You throw your point. You're like a point slut, is what you are. You want an animal one? All right, well, I'll get you. I'm gonna get you a random. Yo, home, motherfucker! I'm um, a pirate now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Papa. Uh, we can all. I'm not even wearing the hat today. That's where we're at today. There we go. How's that? Who's the pirate now, motherfucker? We're gonna give Olive a random, a random animal, shall we? A random animal. Let me scroll through. Because it's a freebie, I'll pick. Um, hey, you guys like dogs, don't you? You guys like dogs. Let's find... Let's find a... Holy fuck, what was that? Papa, stop it. <laughs> Thanks very much, friend. That's much appreciated. Um, and you're just in time. We found a lovely... We found a lovely dog. <laughs> we found a lovely dog for Olive. Here we go. Anus gobshite. Anus gobshite. And look at the little jumper it's wearing. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Anus gobshite with a lovely knitted red jumper. <laughs> there we go, Olive. That's just for you, friend. That's just for you, mate. I hope you liked it. 
I hope you liked it. So, uh, we can rescue at a cabin or we can rescue at an apartment. Uh, what do you think is a good one? They're both red, which means they're going to be quite dangerous. You want that on a shirt? Well, anus gobshite or the whole picture? You want the dog saying it on a shirt or just the just the words? Um, let's go for let's go for cabin cabin rescue, shall we? Driving along a rural road, the group hears gunfire coming from a cabin in the distance. Forest near the cabin ripples with the movement of an unseen horde. Siege! Oh fuck! This is our first siege. <gasps> Horde size massive, siege length one hour, oh fuck me. Okay, uh, let's tool up. Should I get to take the sciency doodad? I'm curious to see what it does. Uh, Jody has got a leaf blower for some reason, she doesn't need that. That can go, but she's got a blowtorch as well and a crowbar. Chaz, he's our powerful guy, he's got an axe and a sledgehammer. And the bard has his loot, which he can't unequip. We're going to keep him with the loot, because I don't think, even if he carries anything else, he's not going to use it. Okay, this is a siege. Oh, hang on, fuck me, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not take the science do doodad, let's take the robot. Because then we can throw that shit down straight away, and it could save a life. There we go, robot, go! I choose you! So it said cabin rescue. Is there somebody in the cabin that needs rescuing? Oh, the, these zombies need rescuing from their existence, I think. Oh, fuck, they're coming through the damn ceiling. Can we show Vicky the anus golf shite? <laughs> Is that something every woman wants to hear? Hang on, we'll we'll get the anus golf shite. There you go, Vicky, anus golf shite. And look at that lovely, look at that lovely jumper it's wearing. I mean, I don't know if anyone knits. I used to knit. I used to knit. I don't think I'd ever be able to knit anything like that. Not without a lot of practice. Now get back into it. But um, anus golf shite. There you go. I hope you I hope you've seen it now, Vic. Hope you're not missing out. You identify with the dog. I mean, the, it sort of looks like it's really glaring at somebody. It's giving somebody the evil eyes, I think. That that dog is pissed off at somebody. But there we go. That was Anus Gobshite. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, I picked up a skeleton. Oh, there's somebody here. Jill says she really wants to get out of this place. She asks if she can follow you around. Okay, you can follow me, Jill. We've just got to survive. We've got to survive an hour. Which I think is like 60 seconds of game time. We should be alright, actually. If they stop falling through the damn ceiling. It's like it's literally raining zombies right now. Let's get out of here. Oh my god, there is loads of them. There is a fuck ton of them. You think she missed it again? Oh my god, really? She is the absolute worst. It is really cool, Olive. I quite like it. It's called Death Road to Canada. Um, and it's really cool. I started with this one person, this uh, redhead I've got here called Shonda, uh, and then I picked up Jody, and then Chaz, and now I got the Bard. You missed it again? Alright, here you go Vicky, one more time. Here it is. Last time for you, anus gobshite. Vicky, you are an anus gobshite. <laughs> Just for you, friend. Right, the siege is over. We can escape. We should escape. That robot did good. We may not have actually needed to use it. We could have saved it. All right, Jill catches up with the group at safe spot. She offers a reward in thanks for saving her. Or we could recruit Jill, but then we have to get rid of somebody. Oh, look at this. A stash of 75 bullets or a stash of 10 medical. I think the medical is going to be useful. Because Jody's got medical skill as well, so she could be healing us up. Do you think Canada has Ren fairies? I don't know, Bard. Jody's healed a bit by Jody. Bit selfish. There is, there is four of us. Group runs into some people that are attempting to run a small farm. They offer eight food in exchange for some help. Um, Jody could offer repair work because she has really leveled up her mechanic skill. Let's do that. She's so skilled that large amount of work isn't a huge problem. Well done, Jody. And look, now she's maximum mechanical. She was the shittest mechanical going yesterday. The farmers are grateful that we've got eight food. Chaz convinces the farmers to give him a pitchfork. He would. He would convince the farmers to give him a pitchfork. Right, a bit more healing would be great, by the way, Jody. Shaunda's fully healed, nice. We could do with getting some more food. We've got enough for a few days. The group comes out in a pro shop near a golf course. Bard looks out the window and sees a large group of zombies approaching from the driving range. Oh, Jody could hotwire a golf ball collector. We could shoot balls at the zombies. I don't want to prepare for a siege. I think let's hotwire a golf ball collector for some reason. 
Jody jumps into a golf ball collector and starts running over zombies. It's surprisingly effective. By the time the collector breaks down, most of the zombies are taken care of. Oh, that's good then. It wasn't a bad result. We'll take that. We'll take that. Right. How are we doing for everyone's health? My mic's in the way. Chaz and Bard need a bit more. While driving on the desk. Oh, shall we go to Stash in the Woods? It's normally good. Your day's turned from fucking boring into a fucking nightmare. Oh, Olive, I'm so so sorry to hear that, man. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope uh, your situation improves, friend. I hope your situation improves. I love you too. I do, Olive. The pipe broke. <gasps> oh, dear. Pipe broke. Mate, get that shit sorted. Shonda's driving through the forest at night. She takes a wrong turn and hits the end of the road. Nearby to the north, she can barely see the shape of a cabin. Moderate swarm. They're calm. That's good. And it's nightfall. That means we're going to need to get our torches out. I'm going to give... Why has Jodie got a fucking tree branch? Get that away. Right. I'm going to... No, not the hammer. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm just trying to... Right. Let's get rid of these golf clubs. And I don't know why Chaz wanted that pitchfork, but it's gone. Let's get rid of these pipes. We're going to give Jodie a torch. Because it is going to be dark. Okay. Right. We're good to go, friends. Let's see what is in this woodland cabin. If Jody didn't have that torch, we would not be able to see shit here. Oh, fuck me. Straight into it. Straight into the danger zone. Still lots of loot. Lots of loot. We're getting a good amount of food out of here. I wonder if anyone's in here. Oh, a zombie was in the toilet. Sorry, I didn't know it was occupied. He's just having a little zombie shit, and we've, we've really interrupted him. He's got zombie stage fright. Do zombies get stage fright when they're pissing and shitting? I don't know. I would as a zombie. I always have to go in a cubicle. Um, I just can't go if there's somebody stood next to me, or even just in the room washing their hands, you know? I'm not ashamed of my penis. I'm not. Right, we are we're building up a good supply of ammo. This is gonna this is gonna see us well. Whoa, it's Joe! It's nice to see a familiar face. He's fighting a single zombie, then suddenly trips and falls down in an awkward mistake. Uh, he gets really embarrassed when he notices the group. Uh, he's charming and he's got the mechanic perk. However, Jody is already charming and she is fully leveled up in mechanic now. So I think I'm sorry, Joe. We have to leave you behind. You're on your own, mate. It's nothing personal. There's, I can only have four people with me. And we've, we've got quite a good zombie bashing system going right now. A large horde of zombies on the road ahead. The group isn't sure if they could get through them or not. Uh, plow through. The group decides to try to drive through the horde. Can't get it through, but take some damage. That's not too bad. I'm sure Jody can fix it up. group finds a large campsite that is occupied by a few carloads of other survivors. Camping with strangers is risky, but there's nowhere else to go. None are heading to Canada. Do you think it's risky? Should we try camp with them? Should we drive off with no sleep? Let's try. Let's see what happens. Hopefully they don't rob us. Group takes a risk and goes to sleep in the crowded camp. Nothing unusual happens. Oh, that's good. They didn't like rob us or bum us. Zombies are not our only problems out here. Oh, actually, it seems like it is. Everyone has been really nice out here. Oh no, the car's broken down from use and abuse. It won't start up again. Um, Jody has got to fix it. She's so good at mechanical stuff. She pops the hood, easily repairs it in no time. Well done, Jody. Oh, good. Oh no, and but we're out of gas though. Fuck's sake, we should have just abandoned it anyway then. Shit. Group spots an old boot in the road. It doesn't look like it's anyone's size, but hey, it's free. This is surely a similar good luck. Should we get that boot or ignore it? Um, I mean, if it's a lucky boot. Maybe it's a port key, though. What if it takes us to, like, Voldemort's graveyard? All right, let's take it. We've got a lucky boot, apparently. After a long walk, the group decides to set up camp. Unfortunately, the group is assaulted by mosquitoes during the night, and they get no sleep. Oh, everyone's morale's dropped, but luckily our morale was super high anyway. But it's not too bad. There's a city ahead rotten with zombies. The group knows that walking through a city street like this is a bad idea, but a car waits at the end of it. Is it a zombie game? It is a zombie game. It is, and we're just about to fight our way through some zombies as well, so 
and hopefully get a new car at the end of it. Ahoy to you, Black Nile. Welcome in, welcome aboard, mate. How are you doing, friend? I see you did a very late night stream last night. Uh, right, let's go. We're walking through. We can try and loot some cars on the way because some of them might have bullets or gas in. But we can't fuck around and take too long because we can very quickly get surrounded by zombies. Oh god, look, everyone, everyone's getting tired from bashing zombies in. I'm not sharing my guns, that's why. Getting your ass blown up in warships as usual. Oh, some more gas here. Let's get that. Guys, keep the zombies off me. Right. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Leg it, leg it, leg it. Get in. Oh, right, there we go. Instantly starts. We're in. Um, I'm I'm okay, friend. It's, uh, I was saying, it's been a bit of a weird day today. I've, I feel, I've just felt a bit emotional today, and I don't know why. I don't know. Um, so I'm just sort of, I'm, I'm up for anything, trying to sort of get out of the, get out of that funk, you know? Um, so we'll see. I thought maybe, maybe braining some zombies might be fun. Um, oh, what should we do? Deer stopped in the middle of the road. It stares at the car. Should we leave it alone, run it over or shoot it? Well, do you know what? Why don't you let me know? What should we do to that deer? I'm, I'm easy. I'll do anything. I'll do anything to a deer for money. Shoot it? You think so? Let's try. Take a shot of the deer from the car windows. Completely whiffs it. Shonda is shit at shooting. It, but she's my lead character who I only... She's the only one that use the guns as well. So, I mean... I guess so long as I'm controlling her, she's fine with the guns, maybe? I hear Canada is like one enormous renaissance fair. All day, every day. I've heard that about Canada, actually. The group continues making progress along the death road. As long as one person remains alive, the dream of Canada lives on. You have 35 food left. Unexpectedly, the group finds someone they can trade with. Let's trade. Uh, what? There's that fucking gnome again. What is... What's your deal? Hi, I'm Tonomi. Don't you know me? The joke doesn't work as well. Oh, I can... I can buy 24 bullets for 10 Z Zombo points. I'm not going to do that. I've got plenty of bullets. Uh, what about this dude? Sees a man standing near an SUV. Do you have any spare gas? I'm running out. He offers to give me two cans of food for every 25 units of gas. Fuck off, that is a shit trade. Two food for 25 gas. Oh my god, what? Oh, there's zombies in here. This is supposed to be safe. This is supposed to be a safe fucking place and there's zombies here. Are you alright, friend? Travelling medicine salesman. Um, one medical item for each item of food. I think we've got enough medical items at the moment, actually, haven't we? Oh, my guns don't work in a trader camp. That's bullshit, isn't it? Right, but there's like a... There's some weird shit down here. What is this dude selling? Look! He's got like gun turrets and shit. This nerd is surrounded by beeping nerd doodads. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a nerd. I have lots of interests. I go to sports bars. Fuck me. I don't even know what these turrets do, but I feel like I want to buy one. Let's buy the green one. Shonda buys a green turret. Throw it on the ground and watch it go. Oh, what? Just like the robots. Okay, we'll save that then for when we've got a lot of zombies on us. Oh, that's pretty fucking good. Uh, how did they get this van in here? Anyone in there? The group discovers an unsettling and filthy van. It has a sign that says Easy Medical College hanging crookedly on the back door. Oh, Jody, use your charm to get training about medicine stuff. Jody accidentally just comes off as creepy, even by the standards of the Easy Medical College Creepy Murder Van Campus. <laughs> Fuck me. Creepy Murder Van Campus. Alright. Uh, right, I think we are done at this trading post. We got a green turret. And we kill some zombies. And then Jodie creeped a guy out. That's a pretty standard day for her, I think, actually. Right, get in, Bard. Come on. It's raining. I don't want to be here any longer. Oh, we've got five days left to get to Canada. Okay. Hopefully we don't come across any bullshit along the road. The group is surprised by a large horde of zombies while scavenging. They run into a house for shelter and to plan the next move. Siege alert! No escape. Oh, shall we take our turret with us, then? A very large horde. It's one hour. Just surprised. Yep, just surprised, mate. Right, I'm going to take the turret. I'm going to use it as a last resort. 
everybody else i tell you what jody take that lucky boot that we got and see if it does bring us luck all right let's go we're in the house yes it doesn't look too bad right now but i know there's going to be a fuck ton more just falling through the ceiling and coming through that front door so i don't really want to be near the front door but i don't want to sort of come too far back and then have to fight through a load when it's time to leave I love how the bard is hitting him with his loot and he's just singing along the whole time. He's having a whale of a time. He's living his best life right now. Oh god, there's fucking loads coming. And we like, shove this. I'm gonna hide behind this table. You guys protect me. Protect your leader. Oh god, this is a bad idea. We should, we should keep moving. Oh fuck me! Run. 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 Jody, use your boot. Use your boot. <laughs> We're running out of pistol ammo as well. The siege is over. We can try and escape. Right, we've got to get through the door. I'm going to switch the shotgun. I'm going to clear a path. Everybody follow me. Actually, it's not too bad. Let's go. Yes, let's leave. Let's go. We made it out. Everyone's alive. Everyone's alive. Wonderful. Oh, we did have more pistol ammo. We could just carry 60 with us when we went in. Got it. Group feels inspired after managing to survive that situation. They feel like they're getting the hang of this. Uh, shall we go for... What is everyone's status, by the way? It, nobody needs healing. So let's go for morale and a random skill gain. Every day is a great teacher, as long as you don't get eaten. Sean does mechanical increases. Jody's fitness increases. Chaz's medical increases. Bard's strength increases. Does it, though? Does his strength increase? It looks exactly the same before and after to me. Maybe we should ditch Bard. Next time somebody wants to join the group, we'll, we'll take them and we'll kick Bard out. We'll leave him at the side of the road. He can be like live bait to distract the zombies from us. Four driving days until Canada. Fuck me. All right, we should... Perhaps I should swap from using guns and save them for when we get to Canada. Uh, camp supplies or sporting goods? I think sporting goods. We're more likely to find ammo there, right? All right, let's get rid of this boot. It brought us no luck at all. Um, I'm going to put all this stuff away, put these guns away, and I'm going to try this uh, science-y doodad, whatever it does. We'll see. Maybe it's like the ultimate zombie killing machine. Oh my god, it teleports me. Aha! I could really use a weapon though. Nothing in here. We'll just, we'll just let everyone else catch up. Oh, fuck me. Ooh. Shut me in, shut me in. Right, as soon as I find like a melee weapon, I'll pick it up. Because... Oh my god, is it out of ammo? Or can I not use it inside, perhaps? I've got my fists. I, I can use my fists. Alright. Oh, hang on. A hockey stick. That'll be useful in Canada. That would be really useful in Canada. They'll love that. They'll accept me as one of their own if I come in wielding this. Right. Oh, fuck me, guys. You, you get him. I'm just going to lead the way. You just stop me getting killed. Oh, I'm getting eaten, guys. Oh, they had one job. They had one fucking job. Does my science do dad work? No, it's, it's out. They have a limited life. I wasted it all. Gutted. Gutted. Well, it was very cool while it lasted. Uh, oh, there's not even anything to loot in here. Let's go. Bard has the weirdest singing voice. Oh, fuck me. Why are there so many zombies in the bathroom? Were they having a little bathroom gangbang before they all turned or something? They're like, look, we're all going to die. We may as well just fucking get naked before it happens. Is that why all the zombies are naked in Oblivion when we've been playing that? I think we're onto something. I think we're onto something. Right, 
so far, so far so okay. Ah, here we are, the sporting goods store. This is why we came. I'm hoping this got some ammo in. At least, very least I can get this, uh, this bat. Oh, no, I didn't even pick it up. Right, there we go. Now I've got it. Oh, yeah, there's some ammo here. There's a lot of fucking zombies. And I think everyone's getting a bit tired from having to hit all these zombies too. There's a fishing rod. Could we use that? Would that be an effective weapon? Oh, and a shotgun. Somebody pick that up. The bard's got it. He's got no ammo. <gasps> Something in the toilet. Let's check it. Yes! But it doesn't make sense. There would be a lot of gas in the uh, in the toilet. You need the, the gas to propel the poo out of your bum. That's what you need. Okay, not as much ammo as I was hoping for in that place, but I think we've we've done okay finding a little bit of food and stuff in in these other houses. The thing is, if we if we get if we play safe, if we play smart, we will probably be able to get to Canada, and hopefully, we've got enough to to hold off all the zombies until they can open the, uh, the border or the gate or whatever they need to do and let us in. I'm doing fuck all with this bat. I'm starting to think Shonda is not a very effective character at all. Perhaps we should kick her out of the group, even though she's the one we started the game with. Maybe we should just leave her, leave her for dead. Oh, it's getting it's getting late as well actually. Look, 5:35 p.m. It is going to start getting dark, and we didn't bring a torch. Well, perhaps we'll come out with the rifle next time actually, because we've got a lot of rifle ammo. We've never even used it. Right. Any any further streets up here? No, that is as far as it goes. Uh, and over here, we must have gone in there. Look at all those zombie brains and guts everywhere. Oh, we can't go down that way. Uh, where the hell did we park the car? Does anyone remember? Shit, we are a long way away. I hope it's down here. Ah, yes, there it is. I see it. Now, was there a building over here we could get into? No. All right, off we go. Everybody in. All right, then. Oh, actually, we didn't find nearly as much food as I thought we were finding there. That was a shit adventure out, wasn't it? Hey, I hope Canada has knights and castles. It's British, right? Is it barred? A sea of cars blocks the road ahead. The pipe is so bad, there's no obvious way through. <laughs> Chaz can bench press a car. I think he should try. Alright, because Chaz, if we look at him, if we look at his status, and we look at Chaz. He is mega buff. His perk is mega buff. I think. Oh, and he's making a song about this trip to Canada. How fucking appropriate, because he's in a fucking he's in a band in real life, isn't he? What's Jody doing then? She wants to find the perfect katana. Shonda plans to train an army of anti-zombie dogs, and the bard is a traveling singer. He is. All right, I think. All right, let's go with Chaz bench pressing a car, then see what happens. Chaz bench presses ruined car. This accomplishes little for clearing the wreckage, and your car still has to be abandoned. Oh fuck. We only just got a new car. Bollocks. While walking alongside a large stream, Chaz notices fish in the water. Chaz tries to up, goes into the water, and tries to catch some fish by hand. By some miracle, Chaz is able to catch a decent sized catfish. Nice one, Chaz. We've actually been really lucky when we've been off. Oh. Well, there we go. Um, Everybody is hurt. Just as I was about to say, we've been really lucky when we've been off foot, because normally we'd like trip on a rock and lose half our supplies, or we'd be ambushed by bandits, but. Spoke too soon, didn't I? Spoke too soon. Right, we're all hurt. Our morale's decreased. Joe, we've got medical supplies Jody can use, though. Uh, the group finds a long road full of abandoned cars and the zombies that maybe used to own them. There must be a lot of gas still in their tanks and there must be a car that still runs. Very thick swarm. They're irritated. But it's morning, though. Right, Bard, you've got a shotgun. You have permission to use it. Oh, that is empty. Let's get rid of the science. You do dead then. We wasted it. Let's get rid of the hockey stick. We don't need that. I'm going to use that cowboy rifle. 
Right. Are we good? We've just got to get from A to B, right? Get a new car. Hopefully get some more fuel while we're at it. Loot, try and loot some of these cars if... Ah, this one, up here. Right, defend me! I'm siphoning the tank. Right, we got it, we got it. Only... Ah, there's a gas canister there. I'm gonna get this one too. Guys, back me up. This is a long ass road. They're not normally this long. Must be good we're getting closer to Canada. It's decided to ramp up the difficulty on us. Alright, here we go. Look, lots of room for luggage here. Everybody in. Quick, 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 quick. Go! 104 fuel found. Nice. As long as the car stays in good condition, we should be alright to go for a while. Yeah, it's late and there's no great place to camp. Solo zombies hobble around in the far distance. One might sneak up on the group while they sleep. Who should stay up and watch? I think Jodie. We know she's trustworthy. We know she's got a good composure. She's got her wits about her. Jodie stands watch for roving zombies. She manages to stay awake but feels groggy in the morning. She's still, she's still mostly happy though, right? She's still fairly happy. Storm descends on the group. In the pouring rain, the zombies out of the city search for the kid. Oh no. Moderate hunting late afternoon. Should we go to an office building or a furniture store? Office building has probably got more places to search, but it just means it's easier to get lost. Let's go for the office building. Let's do it. Um, I didn't like this thing. I'd rather stick with the pistol. Uh, the stump nose actually held more. I'd, I'd rather go with the stump nose. Oh, we only have... Somebody else got a pistol that's got bullets in them. No. Right, Bard, I'm taking the shotgun away from you. You don't need it. Chaz, you don't need two of these. You can just use the axe. Uh, and Jody, you're good. Right, everyone's good. Ready to get into the office building and other building. Right, let's start over at this one. We just drove past. Fuck, there are a lot of zombies. This rain is coming down. Shit me. Dad and sons. <coughs> Dad and sons. What's in Dad and sons? Oh, is this the office? Alright, let's search it. See if we can find, like, the canteen. Ah, I think we did. There's a fridge here. Right. We could really use with stocking up on food, both to make sure we've got enough for the, the last few days on the road to Canada, but also so we can trade the shit out of the final trade-in post we get to, yeah? God, this place is a maze. Sweet, we've got some bullets though, and another gun. Oh, sometimes I think in an office there's a safe as well that's full of shit. But I'll keep our eyes out for keys. Right, we don't need to take all these zombies out, guys. Let's everybody out. I, I, oh, zombies are too close. I wanted to shut them in there. Right, if everybody can get out quick, I'll shut this door. There we go. Uh, okay, I guess this one doesn't have a safe in. All right, well we're done. We're done with this office building. Let's see what other buildings we've got to to loot. There's bound to be there's bound to be a few in there. They're not all going to be blocked up. We've just got to keep an eye on the time. Oh, nothing in there. That's a very angry zombie. What have we got down here? Oh good, we have got one. It hasn't been a complete waste of time. Oh, we've got two, okay. Sweet. Oh, look at this! Food, 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 food! Right, guys, we've got to search the clocks as well. Or at least search this clock down here. There were three food in that clock. There were three hamburgers hidden away in that grandfather clock. Why? Why? Who puts hamburgers in a grandfather clock? We've got to make it to Canada, right? We've got to make it to Canada. Oh, 
sweet. There's a third place that I just saw as well. It's probably a stupid idea to, to leave all these doors open because it just means the zombies are all just filter out and be waiting for us in the hallway. But I can't stand around waiting for everyone else to filter out of the room before I shut the door. You know, they just seem to take forever sometimes. Right, let's see what we've got. Let's pick up this chair. Take that zombie. This has been a very, very good expedition out. We've got loads of food out of this one. Uh, oh shit, 7pm, it's getting dark. Was this the last house? I think this was the last house on the on that row, wasn't it? So we'll, we'll clear this house out and then we've got to get back to the car. Right, we've got to go. Because when is it it gets really dark and spooky? Is it 8pm? We'll be gone by then. Oh, sweet car right here. Start, start, start before they surround us. Phew. Right, off we go. We did alright. 22 new foods. Four more medical pouches things. 29 more bullets. 10 more rifle. 5 more shotgun. 119 zombies killed. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, friends. Root runs into a horde of zombies. They're completely docile. Just waiting outside a shop in a big single file line. Every zombie is staring straight ahead. You can send someone with you to join the line to solve the mystery. Looks like it could be a long wait. Do you know what? Let's pick Bard. I've said that we will get rid of him when we get the chance, and this could be the chance to get rid of him. And if it's something good, then great. You know, we'll, we'll take it. Right, Bard, you're going. Bard waits in the line, inches forward to Bard's great irritation. Bard tries to think about this positively. She manages to endure and get inside the store. Morale decreases. The shop is a trendy upscale grocery store. Most of the fancy items have rotted to mush, but there's still some loot. Ten food. Nice. Nice. Oh, isn't that wonderful? Bard's composure is all right. Nice. So we got ten food. We lost eight food. So it's it's still a net net positive, isn't it? Group sets up camp late. On the nearby highway is a bunch of abandoned cars. They're broken, but should have a little bit of gas. Uh, yes, let's send Bard out <laughs> to siphon the gas. Oh, we're really sick. We got 60 gas. Nice. Two driving days till Canada. We're, we're so close, friends. I think we're going to make it. While driving on the death road, the group decides to make a stop for supplies. We've got a swarmed rest stop, which is red, which means it's going to be very dangerous. We've got a grocery store, or we can drive around for 25 more gas. Uh, how much gas do we have, by the way? We have got 154 gas and only two more days to Canada. I think let's drive around and see what else we can get. Group decides to burn some gas and hopes finding more interesting places. Um, oh, should we go to Big House? Drive to a town has been burnt to the ground. There is a large house looming on a nearby hill. Even from far away, it looks completely swarmed with zombies. Far. At least they're, they're calm, though. They're calm zombies. Okay, I'm going to take the shotgun as well. Get rid of the double barrel. We've got all this space. We've got all these weapons we're not... Oh, no, I didn't mean to give it to Bard. We've got all these weapons we're not using. Let's save the space for... You know, if we need to pick more shit up. Okay. Right, let's clear out this room first before we start going through doors. Because there are a fucking lot. Alright, more are coming through from the outside, so... Oh, fuck me, there are so many. This is a big house. Look how many more doors there are. Fuck me. Right, shotgun's out. Right. Right, let's wait for them to come to us. I'll shoot. You guys just... You guys just take a breather. Look, you know, you're all getting red in the face and tired. Just let me do it for a little bit. Right, 
pick that gun up. Just so we've got another one for when we get to the final, the final siege at Canada. So glad Jodie didn't pick up that handbag. She kept on picking it up last time. This place is fucking huge, man. Right, they are going to try and break down that door, but um, hopefully we'll be out of here by then. Oh, another Zombo point. Hooray! What's the maximum we can have? 15. And that gnome... Oh, fuck me, I'm getting attacked. Oh my god. We nearly lost Shauna there. Right, everybody out, everybody out. Quick, so I can shut this door. Hopefully they'll never know we were here. We are just trashing this house. I think it, even though I've used a lot of ammo here, it has been worth coming here. We've got a lot of stuff. A lot of rifle ammo. I'll probably give somebody else the rifle when we um, when we get to Canada. But we've picked up a fair amount of food as well. Uh, and hopefully there will be somebody at the trading post that can trade ammo with us. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? bullets over here. I didn't see him behind that zombie. Right, I think we're done here. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's go, team. Yes, I want to leave. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, there's me thinking we found a lot of food. We actually only found six food. The way ahead has a big tree line across it. Looks like someone could cut it down to block the road. Could take it would take a strong people to move it safely. Shall we lift the tree? Because Chaz is pretty hen. Extreme effort. Oh no, Sean is hurt. Fuck. I hear the King of Canada lives in a real castle. I Canada doesn't have a king, does it? Exhausted after an extra long drive, the group scouts out a camping spot and falls asleep immediately after. The group decides, uh, sorry, the group eats a decent meal. I don't know where I got the signs from. I'm just making up fucking words now. I should write a song about these adventures. Good for you, bro. The group siphons gas from some of abandoned vehicles, then spots a magazine in one of the cars. It's an issue of prepared preppers, the special edition in mint condition. Who gets to read it? Jody. She's been like our MVP this whole fucking time, man. Uh, this was hypothetical. At the time, the zombie pocket special issue, Josie, mostly studs the fire on it. Shooting increases, look at that. And we've got 58 gas out of it. Nice. An enormous army of undead shambles around the carnage that surrounds the border of the Canada. Uh, many have tried to get through. Most only succeeded in having their bodies added to the horde. Maybe your team will be different. This is our last chance to trade. We have 46 food left. Let's do it. This is our last, last, last chance. We'll see who's got bullets. Uh, do we have any spare gas? Let's yeah, let's trade them our gas. Every little helps, doesn't it? Every little helps. Well, hopefully, somebody is selling ammo. Uh, she wants us to sell our weapons. No, I'm looking to buy ammo. This, oh come on, there's got to be. Is that all there was at this trading post? Hang on, what about this? There's nobody at this van. Oh, hang on, is there a bit? Please tell me there's a bit through this, this fence. Oh, thank fuck for that. Okay, right, you army dude. Bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. Oh my god. I still don't want that. I want ammo. I need ammo. What about this chick with the eye patch? Uh, Chaz uses charm. 
Still no good. Somebody please sell me ammo. Shuffles to join for 10 food. Oh, come on. No, well, let's leave her for now. If we if we can buy some ammo, great. Um, if we can't buy any ammo, then we'll recruit her and ditch Bard. No, I'm going to leave you as well. Oh, please tell me there's somebody in this building. Hi, sir. Several shotguns. Oh, my God. Shotguns for sale. Look at the, all these auto shotguns you can sell me. No. Still don't want weapons. I need ammo. This is my last chance. This is the last seller here. Trader is waving a sturdy military flashlight around. Oh, he's just selling fucking torches and healing spray. Fuck me. I can't believe it. We have all this food. Right, well, we're gonna... Let's recruit this chick. We're gonna get rid of Bard. And hopefully she is gonna be more useful. I can't believe... Oh, what about... Let's talk to the gnome. Random common recruit? No. That was a real bust, guys. I can't believe it. I'm so good. Right, are we are we finally getting to Canada now? Giant armies of undead perpetually lurch around the Canadian border, unable to cross. The group gets caught up in a lesser swarm before they find a safe camp. Overwhelming board size, 1.5 hours. We just got to hope for the best. I'll, I want to stay close-ish to the door so we can get out when the time is up. But obviously they're still going to come through the ceiling like assholes. See, there they are. I didn't take note of what time we got into this house, but um, God, I'm going to switch to shotgun just to because we've got some crowds, some crowds are forming. If I can like blast a little gap through them, these guys can like finish off anyone that falls down. Maybe. Oh my God, it's just a sea. I can't, I can't even see down to the bottom of this house. We're in trouble. We should have bought our gun turret. Should have bought the gun turret with us. Just gotta look for gaps. Oh my god. Oh my god, Shauna, no. Oh my god, oh my god. We are so gonna die. Oh my god. But Chaz is dead! We've lost Chaz! The siege is over. Oh my god, hopefully they're all distracted by eating him and we can get out the door. Oh, fuck me. Oh no, no, no. No, Sean is dead. Oh no, oh god, oh my god. Oh, I can't believe it. Everybody is dying. Everybody's fucking... Jody's dead. Helma, she's the one we just recruited. She's the only one left alive. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We were doing so well. We had brought Shorda and Jody through right from the fucking start. Oh my god. We have one person left to survive. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. <laughs> she feels inspired, does she? Oh my god. Morale and one health healed will have to, just so she's at maximum health. Oh my god, I, we are not going to make it, are we? We are not going to make it out. Helma prepares for the brutal day ahead of her. Canada is close, but the zombie forecast is bad. Oh, We're on foot as well. I don't even have a car. One last siege. The final siege, but not the last battle. Oh, four hours. We are not, we're not getting out of this alive. We are absolutely not getting out of this alive. We'll try. The one thing I've, I've done before is I've sort of hidden in one house. And it hasn't been too bad, so hopefully... Hopefully that'll be the same. Oh god, don't blow up near me. Oh god, now I'm surrounded by fucking zombies. 
Oh no. I'm either going to get killed by these things blowing up or by a zombie falling out of the fucking ceiling next to me. Oh my god. It's not going to happen, is it, friends? It's not going to happen at all. One person. We are never going to do it with one person. One person who is nearly out of bullets as well. Which way keeps raining zombies? Fuck me. Right, let's take our chances outside. Pick up some ammo. Holy fuck. She's actually pretty good at shooting, I'll give her that. I'd like to think maybe this started at 12, so if we get to 4 we can- oh my god, grenades! Yes, run! Oh my god, if we make it out with this one person, holy shit. Unbelievable. We were really lucky to find those grenades as well. Right, we've got, I'm hoping, one more hour. If we can just sort of kite them around and keep running around the edge, we might, we might make it. Just sort of shoot the ones that get directly in our way. Oh, come on, come on. 40 minutes. 35 minutes. 30 minutes now. Come on, we can do it. Can we do it? Fuck, fuck, fuck. 20 minutes, come on. Come on, let's do. Let's do it. Ten minutes, five minutes. Oh god. They're, they're wise to my plan. They were waiting for me. Oh no, it doesn't even finish at 4pm. I thought maybe we start at 12 and it would finish at 4. Fuck, I really need to pay attention to what time things start then. We are almost out of bullets for this rifle. Oh my god, there are so many of them. Oh, maybe 4.30? Wouldn't 4.30 be wonderful? Oh my god. Come on, come on. No, it's not 4.30 either. Or maybe we started at 1pm. <laughs> let's, let's hold on to that hope. That slim chance that the thing started at, at 1 and then we'll, we'll finish it at 5. Right, I'm ammo for that. Got two grenades that I don't want to use them yet if we don't have to. If we can keep running, we'll do it. Five minutes, I really hope. Come on, 5 pm, tell me it's over. Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe we survived that. Yes, hit the road. Holy fuck. Right, we are fine. We've got the final battle that we are not going to survive, but we've got it. Oh my god. The border to Canada is just north of here. Helma must cross the bridge and reach the fort that serves as a checkpoint right outside of Canada. This is the final challenge. Sardine packed swarm. They're mega cheesed. It's night time. Fuck me. How many bullets do we have? 27 for the thing. 40 for the shotgun. I think we should take the shotgun, the grenades, and the turret. I'd like to take a torch with me, but it's a it's one it's a slot we can't afford to use. Right, throw a grenade to clear a spot. Just gotta get away through. Ugh. Throw a grenade. Oh my god! Oh no! I just killed myself. I killed myself with the grenade. I killed my fucking self with the grenade. And that's it. We have failed. We failed, friends. So spectacularly. I don't believe it. Well. Fuck me then, I guess. 
Fuck me. Well, let's call it a night there, shall we? Let's call it a night there. Uh, we're, I'll go off all by myself to the raid Vicky, shall I? I think everyone's just a lurker. Everyone's just a lurker here right now, so we'll go on my, on my onesies. Bye.